The Boeing 787 doesn't use engine bleed air at all. It's the first jet to go fully electric for pressurization and anti-ice. This isn't just carbon fiber, it's a systems revolution. According to Boeing, the 787 is a more electric airplane, designed to eliminate traditional pneumatic systems used in older jets. On most aircraft, hot compressed bleed air is tapped from the engines to power pressurization, wing anti-ice and environmental systems. The 787 removes that system entirely. Instead of engine bleed, the 787 uses electric compressors to pressurize the cabin, and for de-icing, it uses electrically heated wing leading edges. Not hot air, the goal. Better control, less weight, and improved fuel efficiency, since bleed systems are complex and rob engine performance. By removing bleed air plumbing, valves, and heat exchangers, Boeing saved significant weight. It also reduced maintenance complexity, failure points, and allowed simpler engine nacelle design. The result? Cleaner systems, more reliable operations, and lower fuel burn on every flight. The 787 didn't just change materials, it changed systems. This was the first time an airliner replaced nearly all traditional engine air-driven systems with electric power. It's one of the boldest steps forward in modern airliner architecture. And it works. So the next time you hear someone call the 787 a composite aircraft, remind them it's also a fully electric jet at 40,000 feet. Would you trust electricity over air pressure in the sky?